This video is all about number lines at the advanced level and will help you do the quiz on the same topic. What is a number line? Here is an example. Number lines show numbers in order on a line. They can start and finish with any number that we choose. This example starts with a 12 and finishes with a 22. Number lines often use intervals of one. This means to count on one, we move on one step on the line. And to count back one, we move one step backwards. Some number lines do not use intervals of one. Have a look at this example. What is happening to the numbers on the line? Can you work out the interval or jump between each one? Let's read it together. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. To find the interval, we need to find the difference between two numbers that are next to each other on the line. Let's make it easy on ourselves and look at the smallest numbers, 0 and 5. The difference between 0 and 5 is 5, so we know each interval or jump on this number line represents 5. Sometimes number lines are blank with no drawn intervals. Look at this example. We need to imagine the intervals to work out the value at different points. The blue arrow points to halfway between 0 and 10 on the number line. The number that is shown is 5. How do I work out halfway? I need to work out what number the blue arrow is pointing at. It's a blank number line, so I need to do some calculating to help me. To find the halfway point, I need to find the difference between the two numbers on the line. In this example, 20 take away 10 equals 10. Divide the difference by 2. So 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Add the answer to the starting number on the line. 10 add 5 equals 15. I've worked out that the blue arrow is pointing at the number 15. Remember, number lines show numbers in order on a line. Some number lines can show intervals of one. Some number lines show intervals of more than one. Some number lines are blank and we need to check the numbers each end. To work out the halfway point on a blank line, find the difference between the two numbers, divide it by two and add your answer to the starting number. Now you can have a go at the quiz.